Hey guys, it's time to do a full comparison between the Galaxy A2016 versus the Galaxy J7 Prime. So uh, I received a lot of requests for this video and uh, we're also going to be doing a camera comparison between these two phones. So uh, first of all, if we talk about the price, the A2016 obviously is the expensive one here, cost around close to $500, while this one is uh, $340, $350, something like that. Uh, so it is cheaper. And uh, let's compare and find out which one is actually a better uh, phone, you know. So, you know, compare the facts and figures and everything. So, first of all, build quality wise, you can see both phones are top notch. Uh, if I had to pick one, I would say Galaxy A 2016, obviously, because uh, it just feels so good with its blue color. And uh, obviously, it's just your personal preference. I mean, this is also a pretty good phone, build quality wise, like this. Uh, matte black type of color is great but uh, this is so beautiful like a lot of people um, that have watched my unboxing video they have agreed with me uh, that this is actually uh, the, uh, super beautiful you know compared to the uh, Samsung's compared to Samsung's mid-range devices so uh, but both are premium both have full metallic uh, build quality the latest design language from Samsung's so you guys speaker right above the power button a2016 obviously it's a uh, bigger in size 5.7 inch so you do get bigger display um, on the A8 2016 uh, well here it's 5.5 inch 1080p this is also 1080p but as far as the quality and everything goes A8 2016 definitely uh, takes the lead with its super AMOLED display while the J7 Prime you are paying less that's why you're getting uh, a TFT display uh, which is not that bad like people are really pissed about it like it's not super AMOLED uh, but still I mean in comparison with the A8 you're definitely getting a much much better display on the A8 2016 uh, if we take a look at the software you can see that the uh, the A8 2016 is rocking the latest Grace UI which offers a uh, lo lots of new improvements you know compared to the older uh, UI that we have on the Galaxy J7 Prime. Uh, J7 Prime will get the update so it's not a big issue but if you want the latest features uh, to taste uh, on, on the Samsung UI then obviously A2016 is the phone to go with and um, uh, the, still there are lots of similarities between these two phones software wise you can see uh, the lock screen looks the same and also if we jump right into the home screen and the app drawer which also looks very similar uh, but the main changes you will see in the in the extra features that this phone has uh, also we do have always on mode on the A2016 uh, which is great which we have seen with the S7 series so it's also like a non um, S series phone to have the always on mode which is great performance wise both phones are super fast like in daily Usage wise, you're not going to be uh, experienced lag with these phones. Uh, you get uh, three gigs of RAM on both devices. So, uh, obviously, based on my speed test video, uh, Galaxy A 2016 is a is a faster phone because it has a flagship quality processor, Exynos 7420 of the Note 5. So, uh, which really um, you know gives you a, a whole power. Uh, over uh, the J7 Prime when it comes to gaming and other stuff so uh, obviously again you are paying more you're getting better processor also on this one uh, well here it's not gonna lag uh, but in comparison to the A8 2016 obviously it's giving you a better processor as well as better GPU if we talk about the cameras now this is where uh, the J7 Prime actually comes very close to A2016 uh, we got 13 megapixel on the J7 Prime versus um, 16 on the A8 it's just a marketing trick from Samsung like I mean 16 megapixel on this one is not better than the 13 over here uh, you may see like slight improvement in pictures but that's pretty much it like if you are thinking of buying the A8 uh, uh, over the J7 Prime just because of the of the camera then you're gonna be disappointed because really there's not much of a difference overall pictures are okay on both devices obviously J7 Prime is providing you great pictures for its price but AA 2016 definitely does not provide you that uh, for, you know with the price tag it this phone has so uh, also 1080p video doesn't look that sharp on uh, on on the A2016 which is also a bad thing so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys a quick sample of a 1080p video recording on both phones
So lastly, we talk about the battery life uh, on both devices. Uh, both have 3,300 milliampere battery, and uh, I did the battery review for the A2016. I was able to get uh, around five hours of screen on time uh, on this one, and uh, with my heavy usage, and uh, it's pretty much the same story with the J7 Prime. So it can go all the way up to five hours of screen on time. And uh, basically you can expect one day of usage easily uh, from both of these two phones. So um, yeah, I mean, definitely if you wanna save money, you don't wanna spend that much uh, on the A2016, then this can be a great alternative. Uh, you know, the, the only things that you're paying more for, uh, on the, for the A2016 is basically the new software. Um, just a little bit better camera and uh, also better performance. That's pretty much it. And uh, I mean, really, it, you can save a lot on the J7 Prime, and uh, it it also made it in uh, to my best uh, mid-range phone list for 2016. So overall, it's a great phone. Uh, it is a, like a you know replacement for the A2016 for those people who don't want to pay that much. So yeah, uh, that is our comparison uh, between the A2016 versus the J7 Prime, uh, both are good. You pay more, you get better performance, and as well as better display and a little bit better camera with the A8. And uh, this is not bad. If you want to save, then go with the J7 Prime. And that's the whole comparison. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.